Hey, this is Head Coach Ross of the Tax Gym, Street Warrior, in Gia Uhuru Kipura. As you know, in Gia Uhuru is the Swahili term, it means the way of freedom, and Kipura is the correct Kikongo term, meaning the language from Congo, for the art that is miscalled in Brazil, capoeira. That term capoeira was created by a guy named Javier Brito in 1712. That's the first time it was ever uh, recorded, so we know where that's coming from. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Okay, what's this video about? It's in response to some more emails and comments that you guys sent to me. You know, I respond to them things. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys asked me about a kind of a kind of old school posture that's actually used a lot but rarely named. You guys in in in, in Brazil, it's incorrectly called resistencia, resistencia. All right, and it's connected to mostly what you also incorrectly call the negativa. All right. So uh, this is this is the uh, this is the the resistencia here. Let's come through here, put out here, most things, mostly, mostly weight is back here, and, or you put your weight forward. The difference between the, the negativa is here, and the resistencia is like basically you're standing up in the negativa, right? That's basically what it is. You're in this posture here. That's basically what it is. This foot is flat. I'm trying to sight see if you better. This foot is flat, and the uh, negativa, and the resistencia foot is pulled back a little bit more, and you're kind of flat on the ground, all right? Okay. What the hell is that for, right? I mean, how can you use that? I mean, I mean, could, could you actually imagine somebody actually trying to do that in a fight? If you did, we're gonna show you just a, just a, just a quick vision of what that would look like. Help me out, come on. You know, if you did, if you were like outrageous enough to be getting ready to get in a fight and say, hey, you know what? Let me just go ahead and just do this. This will happen to you. <laughs> not, not a good thing. Not a good thing. Don't let that happen. Okay, then why did my ancestors do this technique? Well, the reason is, thank you very much. You know, the reason is because I'm going to use a cone here to, to, to make the point. First, we have to deal with it. First, I'm going to show you what we did, and then I'm going to tell you how the structure that we utilized for it, okay? And how it's unique, especially in Jiwu Huru Kipura, all right? First, common sense. Nobody dropped into a, in, in, onto that posture in the middle of a fight just because it was a great thing to do. Nobody did that. Black folks especially won't do that. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. All right, uh, so the idea was actually, we wouldn't drop here in front of you like ha ha ha, all right? The idea was, whatever leg was in front, we're using that to pivot on. So we step forward, we pivot here, and then we drop here. Now we have the options to enter, to escape, to go to the side. You know, some of the other movies you guys have seen before, this type of stuff, that gives us a huge advantage because we're, we're, we can either enter, we either enter, strike, and take down, or use our weapons or what have you, or kicks and things from an angle, or escape, leave from those very same options, from that very same angle, we're safe from that angle. That's number one, okay? Number two, we have to now deal with the structure of the posture, the mtao, all right? And it's proper name, so here it is, ready? Let's say it together. The proper name is mtao siri wawandaji. Nah, you suck. Let's do it again. All right, all right. It's Mkau Siri Wawandaji. Ready? Say it one more time. Mkau Siri Wawandaji. Mkau means posture. Siri means hidden. Wawandaji means hunter. Siri also means secret, too. All right, so keep that in mind. It's kind of a cool name, isn't it? Posture of this, of this hidden or secret hunter. It's pretty cool. All right, so now, how would you use this? Now, I want to show you just a, just a, a one-step Example, you know, uh, come on, do us a uh, on. This Hi, who is it? It's the handsome black guy. You know, right? <laughs> All right, so, so, <laughs> how are we doing this? The idea now, I'm going to show it to you slowly. We're not going to actually do any sparring, what have you. The drilling part will come later. We'll have dr drilling applications, you see. The idea is for self defense and a fight, and move cone out the way. The idea is for self defense, one of the most common things we'll do, you have to drill each and every category of self-defense, you know, the push, the grab, the punch, the elbow, the knee, all that good stuff. And you have to practice your 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 Mdawa Siri Wawandaji against every single one of these assaults. Alright? You also must remember, and I should have showed you this earlier, but I didn't, but pretend like I did. Alright? <laughs> you also must remember that Siri Wawandaji has has four main manifest manifestations. Right and left side of course. Alright? But also there's hands up, both hands up one hand down, the other hand down, all right? And then, <laughs> all hands up, but using your head 
as the tripod. You should your leg, your shoulder, and your head as a tripod. So you'd be down here. In this posture, or the other way, you'd be down here. All of this is the Seri Wandaji, and I'll get you, I'll show you some drills and exercises and stretches and stuff about that later in a different video. Pay attention to this playlist. It's all this will be connected to the same playlist, okay? All right. <laughs> The other important thing you must know when you hit this posture is you're not supposed to just stand here. You're supposed to pivot. It's very important because you have to add it to each of those postures I just told you. You have to be supposed to pivot one way or the other way or one, all the way around. That's pretty cool, huh? All right. So, and you can do this by having your weight shifting forward in the center or, excuse me, having your weight sitting back in the center or fold. And each area, back, all the way down to the ground, okay? Center, all the way down to the ground, one hand, either hand, or both hands, or no hands. You have, you have to practice this every single way. And includes going forward, one hand, the other hand, both hands, or going forward and no hand. And this motion is what shows you why rolling has always been an essential portion of the discipline. And no, it doesn't matter how old you are because when you roll properly, you're simply just moving your stance from one position to another. Leg off the ground, other leg off the ground, four feet down. You'll learn that in the progressions. I'll show you how to do that. It doesn't matter how old you are. You won't hurt yourself. There's a very structurally sound way to do this. All right, your teacher, if he, she, or they actually knew the art, would have told you this. But they didn't because they don't know the real art. Only I do, and my family do, and those who I train. All right, and you, if you go to my website and buy it, hit hand. All right, so. <laughs> it's, of, it's of overwhelming importance that you first know, learn that structure. Second will be this basic application tool so you have an idea as to why you're doing what you're doing. I want to, I'm going to start off with a basic grab here first. I'm going to grab me first so it's easier to teach you who don't know anything about it yet uh, when the person's attached with a grab. All right, with a grab, all right, there's two forms of grabs. There's the dead hand grab, which is like, excuse me, three. And they're both, they're both, both apply either one handed or both hands. There's the dead hand grab, which is where they grab you, don't really move. There's the, there's the, energy grab where they grab you and push you backwards boom or with an energy drive that grab you and pull you forward like that and then there's what we call ragdolling right where they where they drive you backwards and pull you forward and they just push you back and forth like yeah like you're in a washing machine or something you can ragdoll right now you have to deal with that individually with one hand or both hands all right you also have to deal with the three major most common places that they grab you at all right Women uh, receive a lot of grabs at the wrist, which is why you have to practice the, the wrist, wrist grabbing and have your structure back and know exactly what you're doing. Because usually the person who's grabbing at the wrist is bigger and stronger than you. And they can pull you forward if you don't know how to hit the proper structure, which stops this. So you see how much bigger and stronger and taller and heavier he is than I am, right? So if he grabs me and I don't, and I don't resist, he pull, whoop, I'm going forward. Which usually, which usually isn't a good thing, because if this dude is black, all right, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Show them what's up. So pull me forward and bow, bow. Oh, that's not that's not good. All right, this is especially common in 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 in, in the African communities. I'm not saying nobody else doesn't do it. Of course, everybody does it. But it is you're definitely gonna get it in the black community. Okay. So one of the first things you want to be doing is what? How do you stop this? If you're let me step back over so you can see my feet on. If you're way smaller than this guy and, and not as strong like I am and they grab you, well, how do you stop that? Well, you then utilize the power of the structure of the Siri Wawandaji. And he grabs you, grab, and he grabs me, I set my weight back. See that? Boom, I set my weight back. What is this? He pull, pull, pull. I'm setting my weight back on my leg. See, I'm talking to you. You can't pull me. This feels like, feel like tug of war, don't it? Tell them what it's like. Tell them what it feels like. Uh, he was planted. He was clearly planted into the ground. Jackson, no budget. Like he, um, he wasn't budget. He, it felt like he was planted into the ground. I used both hands and I was pulling. Yes. They have more leverage than I did. That's the key. Leverage. That's what we're using. Leverage, not force, not strength. It doesn't matter how young you are, it matters how smart you are. 
That's it. That's what we're using. Leverage. Udan Ganyi. All right. Also notice this. As, as I'm using all of the, I, I, I can use all of the angles and the postures and forward movements to defend against the pull. I'm gonna sew this real quick and then I'm gonna let it go. All right. So if he pulls, I sit my weight back here like this. I can shift my legs, my arms this way, this way. And what that does is it, it unbalances him, makes him have to deal with my weight so that he now has to move in different ways. See, I'm talking to you as we're doing this. So now I have to move in different ways to defend. Defend against me. I, and I didn't even apply a defense. I just kept the pressure back. What happens is he keeps pulling in. Tell him what happened. Yeah, I, I kept pulling, and it, he just wasn't moving. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, he was moving, but he was moving the way he wanted to move instead of the way I wanted him to move. Exactly. Yeah, it was just difficult. It was really difficult. Yes, sir. Now, that's what I want you to check, and that's what you to take from this video. We're going to add more to it as time passes and build on this playlist. Respond to all your questions and comments, okay? And remember now. Subscribe to my YouTube, okay? It's very important. We get over a million uh, visitors a month. Over 97% of you don't even subscribe. We need your subscriptions, too. Go to my website, googlesites.com slash the taxi street warrior capoeira. Go purchase our stuff from ebooks to instructions. It's very important. Thank you for the idea for the ebooks. Uh, hardcore, I appreciate that heads up. All right, three, okay? Share our stuff on, on, on uh, Facebook and uh, your other social media. Hit the bell that for notifications and always hit that thumbs up and hit a, a comment on there so this way it helps us all out and we can reach more people who are, are like mind similar mind that we are all right and enjoy the same videos that you would all right thank you for your time be safe take care of yourself head coach Ross, taxi street warrior in Gio Uhuru Kipura Asante Sana Amani Ashe